Morning God, first thanks for joining us this week for our week of prayer, first of five videos this week to encourage you to pray. Uh, we're going to be looking at up towards God in as a community, as a church and, and out uh, towards the world beyond. And I've got up this morning, we're going to talk about the Bible and truth. We're all really familiar perhaps with Jesus' uh, parable of the wise person that builds their house on the rock. Uh, Jesus says, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. The rain came down, the streams rose, the wind blew and beat against the house. Yet it did not fall because it had its foundations on the rock. And it's a really important question about foundations. We live in a post-truth fake news world where personal emotions and perceptions are more powerful in shaping what we believe than facts and truth. And as a culture, we've abandoned any form of truth or meaning beyond our own personal sense of what is true for me. I want to show you a diagram uh, by a guy called Brett McCracken, who's a, a writer. He's in an advanced church in L.A. And it's called the Wisdom Pyramid. And at the top of the pyramid, he talks about where most people are getting their truth from. Uh, most people today are spending their time on the social media and the Internet. And although there's good stuff out there, the reality is if you spend too much time on there, it becomes this echo chamber of, of, of our own perceptions and prejudices. And it makes us foolish and it makes our foundations flimsy. We need stronger foundations. And McCracken suggests that there's two that are based on the word. One is the local church, the embodied spiritual community of God's people. Uh, making us wise and orientating our lives towards God's word. And, and that's why I, I, I think it's so important that the, the church preaches the Bible every week and, and we connect to that uh, uh, because it helps our foundations uh, to be on the words of Jesus and it's an encouragement to put them into practice. But also personally, I want you to encourage you to read the Bible. Not have a sense of legalism or tick boxing, but actually a sense of I'm building a foundation. I'm building a foundation of God's direct speech to me as an individual. That's the only infallible source of truth to make us wise. Unlike any great foundation, it takes a while to dig and it takes a while to build. But actually, it rewards us in wise and mature living. Let's pray for our own truth foundations, the foundations of truth, biblical truth in our family and friends and in the nations. Let's not feed our own false perceptions of truth, but let's build our foundations on Jesus and his words. Have a great day.